Hi guys, having another look at this radio controlled scraper. I didn't know what to call it before, but I have noticed it's got scraper written on it in several places. So we will call it a scraper. Um, in a previous video I showed you it was missing a vital gear. That goes in the middle here. So I'm trying to 3D print one. So this is my first attempt. No attempt to do the whole thing. I just want to get the size right. Because I've got nothing to reference at the moment. I haven't got the original gear. It's missing. So I measured the depth from the axle to the gearbox actually in the truck here. And it was 15 millimetres, so I reasoned it would be a 30 millimetre diameter gear. No idea how many teeth it should have. Um, this one just happens to have 40 teeth, because that's what the uh, file was that I'd already got. I just sized it to fit. It sh I think it should have a ridge sticking out both sides, but that makes it difficult to print, so I've only printed the ridge on one side. So if we take this one off, that's the centre of the broken gear, which goes there. But we also need to have a couple of bevel gears set into this at right angles to match up with these bevel gears. So all we're doing at the moment is seeing if that fits the general dimensions. Uh, no, I think that one goes on that way round. No, no, that was right the first time. That way. No. That one sits on there. And then if we bring the whole unit over and just sit that in there, can we see it? Yes, we can see it. So that one should line up with the gear that's in the gearbox inside. So if I turn that, we can hear the gear tra train and the motor moving inside. I think we've got the right size. Now one option would be to forget about trying to get the bevel gears in there and just 3D print the complete axle, this bit, all as a fixed axle without the bevel in there. So if I can't work out how to print the bevel gears inside this one, then that would be option two, would be to just make this into a, a fixed gear. In fact, if I printed um, suitable teeth on the side of it just to latch up or mesh up there, we could do that. It would just be a fixed gear rather than a differential and that would get it running but we'll see if we can work out how to get these um, bevel gears in there so that's an update for now and we'll look at what we can do next with trying to print some bevel gears this has to have holes in it so the bevel gears go in it at right angles uh, that's probably why the old one broke, because it's probably too much going on in a bit of plastic. Let me see. Thanks for watching. You'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there. And you might like to subscribe over there.